how to do a preliminary sizing of the vessel. So to do a preliminary size of the vessel, uh, eventually you can go to the rating and choose the type of equipment that you want to. And in this case, I want uh, a vertical separator because I have more gas than liquid and it's just a matter to, to, to form the, the droplets of the condensates to settling down. And you will observe as we don't have any liquid going out from the, the heat material balance, uh, usually the let me click. Uh, usually the Aspen High Seas will not a, will be able to do a, a quick sizing, and you will have this kind of message to you because uh, you uh, you want to do a sizing of a vessel separator that is not separating anything. So. Uh, it, based on only in the operation conditions would not make sense to do a vessel separator in reality because we don't have any anything to separate but i must consider and it is some of the activities that we do in plan design i need to consider the safety conditions of the system so i have a heating system but this heating system can fail. If this heating system can, uh, fails, what will happen to my, to my gas? And according to the input information that I have, the, the temperature of the, the, the temperature of the stream, instead of being uh, 50 Celsius degree, it will be 20 Celsius degree. That is the inlet conditions to my uh, to my uh, heat exchanger. So for now, let's use the 20 Celsius degree and see what happens. When I consider that my my stream in Latin stream is at uh, 20 Celsius degree, the vapor phase decreases from 100 percent for 95 hundred percent. So uh, 95. Uh, percent so it means that five percent of the the stream was uh, turned to condensate i if i want to have gas what is the minimum condition that i should consider to have my stream at 100 percent gas you can uh, answer these questions in many ways one of the way is if i delete the temperature and if i consider that my stream is 100% vapor, in this case it is a saturated condition, any uh, drop in the temperature will lead to condensation of the, or par uh, partially condensation of the stream. So the minimum conditions for not having condensate in my, my stream is 38.6 Celsius degree. Now that we have a feed stream, we have a gas stream with a composition and flow, and we have a, a liquid stream with composition and flow, uh, it is possible to Aspen High Seas to do quick sizing of the vessel separator. So I will, I will let, I will keep adding, I will keep with the, the vertical size and I will click on quick size. When I do that, the Aspen High Seas do the calculation of the diameter and of the age of the, the vessel separator. So this is the simplest, simplest way to do a, a sizing of a, a vessel separator in Aspen High Seas. But as I told you, it is not uh, so simple to, to get those information and uh, tell to the supplier that oh, I need a vessel with this diameter and this weight. Now uh, let's start. Let's add that to the field. It's not the way that it happens. To get uh, more more close to re a real equipment, what you can do is instead of using the quick size, you can go to equipment sizing tab and click on vessel sizing. This way, you will find another menu that address to the design of a vessel separator. And here, you will have a, a more detailed 
uh, information. So I need to, to choose the separator that I have in my process simulation. If I click here, select separator. In this case, I have only one, but if you have multiples versus separator in your process simulation, you will select what you want to. And I click on OK. And based, based on the information that is already uh, available in the heating material balance, the Aspen High Seas did a quick calculation. So let's verify some tabs here. If we go to sizing, we can add some kind of uh, specifications in order that as the Aspen High Seas will consider that to do the preliminary sizing of your vessel. And remember that it is a preliminary sizing. And we can choose the, here we have three specification act activated. We have the uh, length per diameter ratio. We have the liquid residence time. And it was uh, uh, assumed by the Aspen High Seas. And we have the demister to top. So the, the distance between the demister and the top of the, the vessel. And if we go to construction, there are some information related to materials and cost. If you have the a cost estimative or if you have cost references, you can upload this of, uh, information here. And it is possible to use the Aspen High Seas to find the, the, the best economical between the diameter and, and, and H, but we will not use the, uh, we will not talk about that right now, okay? But it's possible to do that. What I want to show you is the performance. In the performance, you will find the diameter of the vessel and the diameter is the same that was calculated. But we have some considerations here. We have LL shutdown and we have the, the residence time and we have the vapor space diameter. So we have a series of other information that is not clear when we are using the quick calculation.